This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm stuck in a haunted movie theater, and I've seen Double Agent 73, a sexploitation comedy from Doris Wishman made back in 1974. In this sort of a sister film to Deadly Weapons, uh, the movie follows Jane, a female secret agent working for some kind of secret agency. Her latest mission seems routine go behind enemy lines and take out members of an underworld heroin ring, including its leader. Jane has a camera implanted in her breast, uh, taking pictures of each gang member as they're eliminated so that her bosses can confirm if and when the kingpin is taken out. As the body count rises, so do Jane's feelings for Tim, a fellow agent who is also on the case, though he doesn't really do much at all. In fact, not much happens at all in this movie. It's a Doris Wishman film, and like the other films I've seen from her, it's less about telling a deep story or making highbrow art, and more about just having fun with whatever comes to mind based on whatever there is to work with. In this case, there is at least a bit more to the story than in previous films though it still feels a bit like something improvised over time, especially during a story segment that suggests that Jane has gone missing, even though she's clearly still on the job. Maybe it was an issue in editing, but I wouldn't know for sure. I do know that the central gimmick of Jane working her way through the underworld is pretty much all that goes on in this film with scene after scene of her trying to find a new way to kill somebody while getting undressed. On that note, unlike the previous film, this movie has maybe only one kill that actually involves Jane's body. It actually makes things a bit less interesting, at least as an exploitation film, since now it feels like the movie's other main gimmick is being ignored. It's a change of pace, at least, but it does lose a bit of that weird appeal when the nudity feels more like it has to be in the film for the sake of being in there, rather than being there because the story wanted to be a story about big boobs. All of that aside, the movie does at least have the low-budget outsider quality of any other Wishman film complete with the usual trappings that are essentially trademarked by now. Cramped and repetitive cinematography, audio done entirely in post-production, set pieces that are all just pre-existing buildings, you should know how it goes by now. Well, if you've seen the other films. Are there any major differences? Not really. It's all pretty much the same which does make this movie work as a double feature with deadly weapons, in a way. They're both fun, and they both are the result of somebody who wanted to have fun making movies. And for that, there really isn't anything to dislike. I guess I just got what I expected from this, rather than feeling surprised by whatever I did or didn't get from the film. I suppose the attempt to expand on the amount of story is nice, but it almost comes at odds with the exploitation genre. And so I'm not sure if it's trying to add depth or if it's just being a bit lazy. I don't know, maybe I'm thinking too hard about a movie where a spy has to grope herself to take pictures with a camera implanted in her chest. Double Agent 73, Doris Wishman, 1974. Two stars. I wouldn't really recommend it, though I do think it might work as a double feature, but that's something I'll have to check out another day. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I don't know, maybe I'm just burned out on sexploitation? or maybe just low budget production values. Either that, or I just didn't have much to talk about, and I didn't want to say it outright. Maybe I'm the lazy one.